Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up, guys? You got Crypto Chuck back here, the group Crypto Black. We're back at it again, baby. Hope you guys are having a great week. Uh, like the markets turn around a little bit, so this is a great thing for us, guys. We're going to talk about one of my favorite DeFi coins uh, today, and we're going to talk about uh, synthetics, SNX, baby. It's been doing pretty good to me. I've been buying on a dip. I actually bought a lot of uh, SNX. I threw it over there, put it on Ave, got it over there, earning me some interest over there right now. Currently utilizing this, in, utilizing this DeFi space right now, and and uh, capitalize off of it, guys. So I got it at a good dip. Uh, bought some more SNX on a good dip. Sent it over to Ave. Uh, let it ha have it over there. Earning me some interest right now, currently. So you know, we sitting back, we relaxing, baby. You know, just clocking in those gains. Let's check it out real quick. So we're looking at uh, the market cap right now. We had 337, almost 338 billion dollars, 24-hour volume. Uh, we had 99, uh, 99 billion. And BTC dominance staying around the same. We have 58.5% in BTC dominance. As you guys can see, in the last uh, 24 hours, we was at 321 billion, and we moved up to uh, 300, 337. So a lot of money actually came into the market, you know, in the last 24 hours. So you know, that's a lot of money that came into the market, guys. All right, so. Let's check it out and see for the last seven days, for the last week. So we're still down, as you guys can see, look at the chart, 351 billion, and we're down here to uh, 337 currently, but we're moving back up, you know, so, you know, any anybody got these low dips down here has been, uh, had capital, hopefully they capitalize off of, the, off of that if you bought it. May, you know, I'll, it's nothing wrong with selling, you know, nothing wrong with selling, taking profits, okay? You will get in the habit of doing that. And let's look at SNX. Right now, SNX is at uh, $4.64. Up, we had a great day yesterday, and we're up at four, uh, four point nine two percent, almost five percent uh, earlier into in today. So uh, you know it's, it's been doing pretty well, and. Um also looking at it, you guys can see here the candlesticks. Uh, you know, the last couple of days we've just been moving up. We had a big sell, we had a big sell. Like we try to, uh, you know, we had a obviously we had a nice little trend going down. I uh, hope you guys bought some dip. I bought some dip off of this. I bought uh, actually on this day here. So uh, I got some. I got this dip down here low. You know what? I know it was like in, a, in the high threes, and I got it. Um, so we're able to. Uh, I was in, uh, able to send it over to uh, the Ave and let it just. Collect, collect right now. And so I'm pretty happy now it's going up. And uh, as you guys can see here, so it's a good thing. Um, you know, next stop, we look on, look at these moving averages. We can get past this 50 day moving average, get to this, uh, get to this range around fours, what's this, around about 478, 480, and then get it up to five. And then let's see, let's see what we can do from there. But at the, over five, I say about five and a quarter, we should be fine. And then just see how the market is moving, you know, the market has had a, we had a great day in the market. So, uh, so it says, as Bitcoin, so it's read it says synthetics found a crypto and DeFi still in the earliest inning of its next growth cycle which i do believe which i do believe so it says uh as Bitcoin and especially Ethereum DeFi ecosystem has drawn down from its recent highs, analysts have been left wondering what phase of the market cycle or cryptocurrency is in. Is this the early ending of a bull market or the start of another bear trend? According to Kane Warwick, the founder of Synthetics and a longtime crypto market participant since 2012, ongoing price action and fundamental trends suggest we're still in 2016. And I said the same thing too. I said, we're in 2016 right now, guys. Next year, 2021 is going to be a monster. You know what I'm saying? In my opinion, you know, so everyone that's in right now, let's hold on, hold on to the good projects. Not just a bunch of just BS, but hold on to good projects. You're going to be very, very happy next year. You And people will look at you like, oh man, you the, you the man, you the man, or you the woman. All right. So it says that, um, that's to say cryptocurrencies have a lot further to grow in the coming years. We're in 2016, not 2017, Synthetics founder and longtime crypto bull. And Warwick explained that having uh, lived through two previous crypto cycles, he thinks that the industry's current situation is uh, uh, anal an analogous to 2016, which was the calm before the 2017 storm, so to say. I've been trying to work out if we're in 2016 or 2017 for the last six months. This last week firmly put me in the 2016 camp. It's actually shocking how similar human reactions are to this, the same uh, stimulus. Now it says, uh, after the dump in July 2016, I could not convince anyone to buy PT BTC at $500. Um, so, and this is a tweet here. It says, uh, the main reason why he thinks so is that after the recent strong decline in Bitcoin, then in top, uh, then in top all coins, including his own SNX, there are a few looking to buy the dip. 
he expanded on this on his thoughts on the current situation in the crypto market in a post published to the synthetic site. Warwick commented that right now DeFi is a total cluster <laughs> cluster fuck, in a good bad kind of way. So many things are happening simultaneously that it is impossible to track the potential consequences of all of them, let alone the combined consequences of stitching them all together. Thus, you get the challenges for the die peg and weird volume spikes across the DEX landscape due to shifting protocol incentives and high yields on specific DeFi tokens on lending protocols. He also mentioned how builders in the crypto ecosystem now must acknowledge that the decisions they make affect the rest of the DeFi ecosystem, meaning there needs to be a concerted effort amongst all teams to work together to better products. He says, start of a parabolic growth cycle. He says, while crypto's recent price action has been slow to say the very least, going off of Warwick comments and those of other top commentators, a parabolic growth trend is to follow. Now, Chris Borneski, a uh, partner of Placeholder Capital, recently commented that he thinks that Ethereum will reach a market capitalization of $1 trillion this market cycle. And, whew, man, and if it do... Mm, I'm going to be happy. So meanwhile, I have a, a good amount of ETH. I have a good amount of ETH. So meanwhile, to the mainstream ETH will be the new kid on the block. Expect a frenzy to go with that realization, given ETH outperformance of BTC over its lifetime. Chart below again, not to mention smaller network value and strong on-chain economies. I see every reason for ETH BTC to surpass Aths. Now, uh, it says um, other commentators have made similar comments about Bitcoin, uh, remarking that the likelihood the coin undergoes another exponential growth trend this market cycle is likely. And I mean, my opinion, I really believe it. You know, I believe we are in 2016. I have said that uh, numerous of times um, that we are in 2016, just seeing the just the start of what uh, uni and uni uniswap been out for over two years but uniswap is just catching it just hitting you know what i'm saying and we're right here at the beginning and uniswap is just just starting to get its stride and all the other DeFi products is coming get, get and doing what they're doing and they just starting to take off you know what i'm saying even though we're in a you know the market cap as you guys can see is 336 billion DeFi only have about nine billion dollars locked you know what I'm saying? And total uh, total value lot. Uh, so, you know, you you know, you gotta really understand that we are really in the beginning stages. And everyone that's in right now is definitely gonna be feeling really happy, in my opinion, next year and or in the next year. So getting in right now and then taking advantage of all these high interest rates that we're getting paid out right now. And we stacking those sats and we chilling and a lot, you know, and also, you know, we're getting those profits in right now as well, you know, locking in those profits. So, and jumping back in and getting more ETH and getting more BTC, getting more Litecoin, whatever you're the big dogs that you're in, you know, and, um, you know, and it, it, whatever your goal is, because some people goal is Bitcoin, some people goal Ethereum, some people goal to have hard, just hard fiat, you know, and whatever your goal is, make it, get that goal, man, reach that goal and make that money, you know, but don't over trade, don't overthink it, guys. My thing, I dollar cost average. I said it plenty of times. I said the same thing over, uh, over and over again. I dollar cost average every two weeks. I buy Litecoin, sixty-five hours for Litecoin, and I've been doing that for years, and I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy with my uh, what I have, you know. So, guys, I, uh, you know, tell me what you think about this here, about synthetics. Are are you big in synthetics? Are you an Ave person? You're a Lin person? Um, you know, are you uh, 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 make a DAO? Are you uh, uh, Compound? What? Who? Who's your favorite? Who's your favorite? DeFi project that you're in, or you spreading it out, you spreading the love like I'm doing. I'm spreading the love, you know. And um, you know, so let me know what you think about this here. Let me know if uh you agree with uh, uh with synthetics founder. Let me know what you think about him, uh, what you think he's saying uh, about King, King Warwick. What do you think? 
or you believe we're in 2016 or you believe we're in at the end of 2017? Do you believe that we're in a bubble right now, ready to pop? Or you believe we just get started, baby? Um, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about this. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the channel, guys. This is Crypto Chuck here, the group Crypto Black. We are out of here, baby. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.